Hello, my name is Joe Partridge from JustScoof.com and today we're going to be looking at how you can grow mushrooms on used coffee grounds. Now, this is a, a great way of keeping the children happy in the holidays, grow some mushrooms, see how they grow, or you may just want to do it yourself. Grow your own mushrooms at home, isn't that a brilliant thing? What I have asked is my son uh, will come and help me to show you how much fun it is growing mushrooms at home. So if you'd like to come this way, now this young nine-year-old knows everything there is to know about growing mushrooms at home. So can you tell me what is the first thing we need to do? First, we need two containers. One is a plant container with holes at the bottom and the second container is to stop any coffee grounds going through the holes. Oh, to stop the mess, I see. Uh, and, and what's the next thing we need to do for growing coffee at home? Next step is we have to empty out all the coffee grounds into this tray. Now, this is coffee from the household for the last two or three weeks. And what we've done, we've kept it all together and uh, uh, I have also boiled up some water just this morning and added that water and that raises the temperature up and sterilises the coffee grounds again. And the great thing about drinking the coffee first is that actually you're taking out some of the more pungent uh, oils and ingredients from the coffee and it becomes a much uh, more neutral uh, soil uh, to grow your mushrooms on. So we can tip some of that out and then use our scoof which is designed to pick up and collect coffee grounds easily. This scoof is really good for any tidying up, um, like taking out the coffee, but it's also useful for growing mushrooms, which is very good. That's great. Grab a big lump full then, and then go back and dig in, get another one. Oh, that's a big one. And it doesn't really matter if it goes everywhere because you've still got that second tray. But if it goes out of that second tray, you might have to clean up. Yeah, well, someone's always got to clean up. And it's never you. Never me. I'm happy about that. Now, yeah, probably need two more scoops of coffee. One. And two. Now we should just use the spatula. And use the scoof to smooth over the coffee. And you can just tap out the, the rest of the coffee on the scoof. And it knocks out quite nicely. Next of all, you need to mix in the mushroom spores. Now, these are spores that are grown on some form of barley or wheat and uh, the, the mushroom spores are beginning to develop and we need to add that to the coffee. The way we do this is that we just put it on top. Not all of it, half is enough. We only need about 100 grams. This is about half. Now, we will use the other end of the scoop to mix them together. When you are storing this, it has to be in a cold, I mean warm, dark place with a room temperature to about, from about 18 to 25 degrees. And um, you have to leave it there for two to three weeks. Keep on checking um, one time per week. If it's white and beautiful um, in the first two weeks, that's fine. But if in the first three weeks um, it's greenish, it's not pure white, um, you've done something maybe a bit wrong or the spores are a bit old. Now that looks as a nicely mixed in and you can just finish that with your fingertips. Just make sure you've got a lovely mixed in mushroom spores and then... Now we put the lid on. 
close the lid tight. And as we say, that needs to go into a warm, dark place for two to three weeks. And make sure the lid has air holes in it. So that the mushrooms can breathe. After two to three weeks, the mushroom mycelium develop a, a white uh, appearance and they grow across all of the coffee grounds. And then you can take it out and grow it just like ordinary plants in the uh, daylight spraying with a bit of water from time to time just to keep the mushrooms moist. We'll talk more about that in the next two to three, three weeks when we will come back and see how our mushroom spores are doing. Yep, so let's put these away and come back in a couple of weeks to see how they're doing and hopefully a couple of weeks after that we'll have a nice crop of mushrooms. That's it from us. That's it from us. Hi, we're back after three weeks to see how the mushrooms have been growing. So, hope you found a dark room, because we certainly have. This is a dark room. Now I'm just going to see how the mushrooms have been going. So now, as you can see, it's very fluffy and white. So that is what should be happening to your mushrooms. If it's greenish, not pure white, you might have done something wrong, so you can use the other half of the packet we left over in the last video. So, um, now that the mycelium is completely white, you have to leave it out in daylight so that it can actually turn into mushrooms. And the way you're going to water these is best with a, like a spray bottle to spray on them, but you cannot leave them outside. Just inside in the sunlight will be fine.